Hey guys, welcome back. So, tomorrow I am going to be doing something that I have never done in my life. I am 37 and I have never done this in my life. So recently I posted a video about my fear of flying. And you know, a lot of you guys shared a couple of your fears and I really do appreciate you guys being open. Um, so tomorrow I am going to be flying by myself for the first time in my life. And I gotta say I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also excited. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I do like challenging myself because I know that the reward of me accomplishing um, a challenge is so much bigger than the anxiety behind it. And I let me tell you something. I have never ever entertained the thought of flying by myself. I have never gotten on a flight with girlfriends. I've never got, I have never, like if you were to ask me a year ago. Oh, would you get on a plane by yourself? No, absolutely not. Well, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Tomorrow I will be flying out by myself. It's a short flight. Um, but I I feel anxious and ner and nervous, but I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm going to be doing something I've never done and I'm going to be going somewhere I've never been. And it's only going to be for a short weekend. It's nothing crazy. Um, it's going to be a very safe one. I've got my gloves, my sanitizer, my mask. Um, you know, I'm going to be very, very prepared, very cautious, uh, very safe. Um, and I have not been anywhere in like three years. So even though this is a few days and it's, you know, it's not, you know, out of the U.S. or anything like that, but... Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be able to pack and, and get away. Um, and I just want to give you guys a few tips on what I've been doing to kind of prepare myself mentally. Um, so number one, I've been avoiding caffeine. Now, if you're an anxious person like me and you're, you know, you're a, a fearful flyer, the last thing that you want to do is drink something that's going to give you the jitters and that's going to add on to that anxiety so i've been avoiding caffeine since yesterday i haven't had any caffeine today i have got a headache because i'm getting withdrawal but um, i wanted my cup of coffee but i didn't have it because i want to allow myself to be relaxed i don't want to add on any stress or anxiety to what i already feel so i've been doing that um, also recently i have come across um, a file with filled with information that I used to print out to help me with my fear of flying um, I've got to look on the papers to see what the websites are so I can put them down below they may not be down there when I post this video but I will add them onto there um, but a, there's a lot of informative things out there for um, you know fearful flyers and a lot of the things that they talk about is the mechanics of the plane why certain things do what they do why do they sound the way that they do um, the maintenance, um, the training that, that goes into, you know, the pilots. I mean, these pilots train just like doctors do, you know. And, of course, just like doctors, these pilots have a lot of lives on their hands, and they, too, want to go home to their families. So there's a lot of intensive uh, training that goes on with them. Um, you know, the stewardess, they are very well aware that there's a lot of fearful flyers out there, and they are always open to helping um, and to accommodating you and you know they say that it's okay for you to you know meet the pilot and talk to the pilot ask them you know how's the weather is there going to be a lot of turbulence just to kind of give yourself some peace of mind when you're there um, but it, it goes into that and then it goes into how safe it is um, the maintenance that goes into it I think I was reading that there's you know there, there's a for every hour in the air there's like a couple of hours I don't know if it was 12 something ridiculous of maintenance that gets done to make sure that the plane is 
safe, um, which kind of made me feel better. And it also is a big group of people, you know, depending on, on you know, what, how far it flew. Um, also, um, what I've been doing is just, you know, allowing myself to relax. I have packed, I've been packed since Monday, guys, since <laughs> Monday. Because the last thing that I want to do is stress about whether I'm forgetting something, changing my mind about an outfit that I'm taking with me, um, worrying about whether or not my luggage is too heavy. So I have been kind of steering away from that. I have been packed since Monday. The only thing that I haven't done is pack the things that I need for the morning, um, you know, which is my, you know, essentials or whatever. Um, I have also been uh, trying to just, clear the space at home, you know, making sure everything is clean so it doesn't feel cluttered the days, um, you know, coming up to my flight because I feel like a lot of times, even when you're not flying, when your home is cluttered, it's a, a certain type of stress that comes over you because you start to feel like there's too much going on around you. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that everything was clear. I always make sure that there's, um, you know, that there's nothing you know, in the way that, that we're always, you know, clear of any negative energy. And, you know, I always make sure that the house is clean. So I've been making sure that everything is in its place. Um, you know, and just kind of decluttering and decluttering your space declutters your mind. Um, so that's another thing that I've been doing. Also, I have been, um, I've been eating a little light. Now, typically that's what my appetite does when I get anxious my appetite changes a bit. So I have been eating very light. I've been drinking tea at night. I've been making sure that I've been taking my vitamins, um, you know, and again, avoiding coffee. I want my coffee so bad. Like I want one right now, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it because my flight is really early in the morning. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I've just been allowing myself to remember the last flight that I took it was the smoothest ride. It was so comfortable. Now, you know, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, but I was that flyer that I would get on the plane. And I think the longest flight I had was like four hours. I think it was coming back from Cancun or DR. I don't remember. Um, but I was one of those flyers. Like I had my seatbelt on. I don't get up to use the bathroom. I don't get up to stretch. I don't look out the window. I don't listen to music. I'm paying too much attention to the stewardess and, and the, the lights and everything like that. And the last flight that I took, I had such a great experience because, you know, I allowed myself to be free mentally and I allowed myself to just know that I'm about to go somewhere where I'm going to have so much fun. And that last flight, guys, let me tell you something. I was getting up every half hour to use the bathroom. I'm probably exaggerating, but I must have gotten up like three times to use the bathroom. I got comfortable. I took my seatbelt off. Um, I had my blanket with me. I was listening to music. You know, I was looking out the window. Like I had such a great experience. And I think that's why I feel more excited than scared this time around. Because, you know, I know that it's safe and I know that I'm going to be okay. And I know that even though you know, I'm going for a short weekend. It's not a, a vacation, but I'm getting away. I'm changing sceneries. I'm, I'm going to go out and do something I've never done, you know, and going somewhere I've never done, I've never been. So it's all exciting for me. And I, I want to be able to enjoy the entire process. I don't want to just get on the plane and then enjoy it from there. I want to be able to enjoy, like I have enjoyed packing. I want to enjoy the ride to the airport. I want to enjoy, you know, sitting at the airport and waiting for the flight and watching the planes go in and out and then being able to sit on the plane and enjoy the ride and then get to my destination safely. And I want all of that to be a big experience. So I've been kind of just mentally putting myself there instead of, you know, saying, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Now, what I'm not doing is trying to suppress my anxiety because that also can trigger a panic attack. So if you guys are scared flyers or, you know, if you guys have anxiety, what I have done is I've embraced it. I embrace and I accept what I am feeling. And I just tell myself, like, you know what? I'm, I'm anxious. I'm nervous. This isn't something that I've ever done. This isn't something I do often. 
but I'm okay and this is fine and I'm gonna be fine because I've done it before. Um, so I've just kind of been putting myself there too. So those are some tips that I, um, you know, that I just kind of implemented for myself and maybe you guys can kind of implement it for yourself as well. Also, I do plan on being there and having at least 45 minutes to an hour to just sit there after, you know, after um, security check and after I check in and everything like that. I want to be able to sit there and just take in my surroundings. I want to be able to watch the planes fly in and out and just enjoy that type of environment and then just prepare myself for my flight, which is a short flight. But, you know, I just, I don't want to rush. That's the last thing that you want to do because, again, that will give you more anxiety and stress. So I want to be able to get up extra early in the morning, get myself together, take my time going to the airport, take my time going through security, and then just sitting there and just allowing myself to just feel out where I am and, you know, just mentally preparing myself for my, for my weekend, for my fun weekend. So... Yeah, guys, so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I will be documenting my little journey. So for those of you who are interested to know how everything goes, um, I don't know if I'll be able to post it right away tomorrow when I get to where I got to go. Um, and I don't know if it's going to be posted in the morning because I will be leaving early in the morning, but I will try to post. I will do my best to try to post it um, tomorrow and show you guys what I've experienced and how I felt right now. I'm a little anxious and nervous but excited so um, I'm definitely looking forward to it and I can't wait to share with you guys what my experience was um, flying by myself for the first time ever so if you guys have any advice for me please leave them in the comments below let me know you know um, what your experiences have been and what has helped you and what you know you feel you can give me to help me and as always, positive vibes and prayers are always welcome. I embrace them. I thank you in advance for them. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys can get notified when I pop up on your feed. Until next time, guys. Toodles.